guys, I'm going to be trying to make thermite out of batteries. I would recommend you get D batteries. I couldn't find any D batteries at the store, so C will do. They have to be dry cell batteries. So if you look, you can't really see very well, but it says dry battery right there. It has to be a dry cell battery or else you won't be getting what you want. Dry cell batteries tend to be cheaper than the average alkaline battery or lithium ion battery, stuff like that. So that's good. So I'm going to take this packaging off and then I'll show you what to do next. So I unwrapped all the batteries and then I discarded the packaging. So what you're going to need now is a flathead screwdriver. So step one, what you're going to want to do is remove the casing of this battery. And you want to grab your screwdriver and then sort of jam it in between the crease and the actual metal. After a decent amount of manhandling, I managed to get this case off. Now this is made out of aluminum, so if you really wanted to, you could grind it down and make aluminum powder with it, but I'll most likely be discarding it. So it's going to have a little plastic casing, which is super easy to get off, you just got to peel it off. And this is just to make it so the aluminum casing does not come in contact with the zinc. When you take this uh, plastic casing off, a lot of other components will fall off and the carbon rod will be exposed. If I remove this cardboard, it'll expose the manganese dioxide. Now this is what we primarily want. So what you want to do is you want to grab some pliers and grab a hold of that carbon rod and just pull it out. So this manganese dioxide in here, this black stuff, is actually what we want to make our thermite. So we're going to just pull it all out and put it inside of this little container right here. There's a little piece of cardboard that separates the manganese dioxide from the zinc container. You do not want to get any of that cardboard inside of your solution or powder. So I have most of my manganese dioxide right into this little container. And then over here, I have my carbon rods. Right here, I have my zinc capsules. Now to make the thermite, all you need is this but I kind of want to use these for later experiments. I'm just going to put all these little capsules of zinc and all these carbon sticks, I guess you could call them, into here, shake it up and clean them off a little bit so then I can use them for a later project. For the next step of this experiment, I cut off the top of that milk jug and filled it with water. I will now be grabbing the manganese dioxide and pouring it into this water. I'm doing this because this will clean out all the contaminants and make it pure manganese dioxide. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be grabbing this screwdriver right here just to stir it because you want to get all of the manganese dioxide into suspension in the water so that it can all be thoroughly cleaned. You're going to need a relatively decent amount of water to do this, which is why I did it in a gallon container. I will now be letting the manganese dioxide settle to the bottom. This will take a few hours, so I'm going to fast forward that right now. Okay, so it's been about 10 hours, and I'm going to be pouring the excess liquid into this jar right now. So this liquid is clear because all the manganese dioxide settled to the bottom of the container. So I have a piece of aluminum foil right here folded up into a tray, and I'm going to be dumping all this sludge out onto the tray and allowing it to dry overnight. I let my manganese dioxide dry out for a few days and little did I know it was gonna dissolve the tin foil that I put it on. So if you look closely, there's a bunch of, you know, dissolved tin foil and stuff in there, aluminum foil. But that doesn't really matter too much because my plan with this manganese dioxide was to make thermite and well, aluminum powder is an ingredient in thermite. So if I just powderize this, then it shouldn't be too big of a deal, I'm hoping. So I found it easiest just to pick it up with my hands and put it into the container. Afterwards, I wiped down the area as well as I could with a wet cloth. I'm gonna be honest, I've been dreading this part of the video for a few days now. To make thermite with manganese dioxide, you need a 12 to 5 ratio of manganese dioxide to aluminum. So I'll hopefully be making 29 grams of this thermite. Let's see if it works. For the first attempt, I decided to cut it in half, and I'm just gonna be using 12 grams of manganese dioxide. And maybe, honestly, because all that aluminum sort of dissolved in there, I'm just gonna go try and light this like this and see if it works. And if not, then I'll add a little bit more aluminum. I set the manganese dioxide on top of a little jar and we're just gonna see if I can light it. So I'll be doing my standard way of lighting thermite. I have my blowtorch right here and then there's a little piece of magnesium sticking out. So let's just see if this works.
So I did definitely, I definitely did not get a thermite reaction. Here we are in attempt 792,453. Check it out, guys. We didn't get much, but we did actually get a small thermite reaction. I'm gonna try it again. Okay, so my camera shut off in the middle of that reaction. I haven't checked the footage yet. I don't know where it shut off, but we did get a minor thermite reaction. And right here, I don't know how well you can see it. I have a little piece of manganese. Yeah, it's a tiny little piece of manganese. So we did recover some manganese and we did create a thermite reaction. It obviously wasn't as good as if I was to do it with, say, iron oxide, but I'm sure that I could have made the reaction much better if I had more aluminum. So yes, you can make thermite from batteries. Is it going to be as good as the traditional red iron oxide and aluminum powder? No, but what was pretty cool was I managed to make a thermite reaction using just a chunk of aluminum and some sandpaper and batteries. So if you are in a pinch, and you do need to make thermite, or want to make thermite for some weird reason, uh, then yeah, you can if you just have some dry cell batteries. Thanks for watching my video. Please make sure to like the video, check out my Patreon, and maybe consider subscribing. Hey!